what are invertible matrices today we are going to discuss this how we can use the properties of invertible matrices so i have used one question to solve if you think this video is useful please continue watching my video hi everyone welcome back to my channel invertible matrices uh, first of all i would like to explain you uh, i have a matrix for example matrix a and when I find the inverse of this matrix, I need to find the determinant. And remember, determinant should not be zero. And when I find the inverse, it, it will become A inverse. So these three terms are very important. First thing, this is called inverse and this is called determinant is not equal to zero means non-singular matrix. And most important thing, this is called the invertible matrix. So the invertible matrices are those matrices which has some inverse and determinant is not equal to zero. This is the first thing. And very important, the properties of invertible matrices are when you multiply the invertible matrix with its inverse, inverse of A is A inverse, the result will be always unit matrix. And the unit matrix, like uh, if you have for example, A, B, C, and D. And A inverse is coming, suppose P, Q, R, S. When you multiply, your answer will be equals to 1. 1 means 1, 0, 0, 1. This is very important. And this is called like unit matrix, which has the determinant equals to 1. The word is 1 actually. So you can also see like this, like A multiplied by A inverse is 1 upon A. And when you cancel is coming one so this is just a logic actually so let's start with this question to solve so before that question i would like to solve on one thing this when we multiply uh invertible matrix with its inverse is always equals to i which is one okay m is equals to a b and c so where all matrices are square matrices means it can be 2 by 2, it can be 3 by 3, it can be 4 by 4. But we have to just use 2 by 2 matrix. So, and also A and C are invertible matrices. It means when A is invertible, it means A multiplied by A minus 1 is equals to I, in which has the value 1. And C means C multiplied by C inverse is coming also I. This is very important for invertible matrices. Okay. I want to find the matrix B in terms of other. So B is your target. Remember uh, one more property here. When you have, for example, P and matrix Q, when you multiply any matrix A in left hand side, the other matrix will be also in left hand side. This is very important. When you multiply any other matrix, the right side of the matrix, then it should be also at the right side. So just remember this property in your mind. Now let's start. Uh, as I know the C and C inverse equals to I, so I can do one thing. I can multiply both the sides with C inverse. So C with C inverse here, sorry, this is C inverse, C inverse, and I will also write C inverse in right hand side. Remember this property. So the result of this part is only I, and I means. I'm writing here M C1 C inverse is equals to A B and the result of C C1 this is this means this is equals to 1 actually so I, I will not write anything I will just write I and I means is 1 so in the next step I will write M C1 the C inverse equals to only A B now I want to remove this A now because I need to make B as a subject. So what I will do, I will write M C inverse is equals to A B. So I cannot write A here. I have to write A with this A. This is very important. So when I write A with this A, A is A inverse in left hand side. So I will write A inverse also here in left hand side. So this will become I and I means one. So the result will be coming A inverse M C inverse is equals to A A inverse equals to I and I means we just write 1 because 
This i means when you multiply i with any of the matrix is equal to itself. For example, if you multiply a with i is coming a, b a multiplied by i is coming b a. So that's very important thing then. So i is unit matrix which has the value 1 multiplied by b is only b. And b is equals to a inverse m c inverse and that we have done. So positions are very important. You, you cannot write A inverse right side and C inverse and left hand side. This is very important to use the properties of matrices. So by this way, we have done this question. I hope this, this question is this video is useful. If you think yes, please like my video, subscribe my channel and just share with your friend. Thank you so much and have a nice day.